This is Solar Journey USA, 3,200 miles powered by the sun. In this episode, we will show you how we build a solar battery charger. You can find all the details on our website, solarjourneyusa.com. Here you see the final product. At the top, three Ascend Solar flexible modules. In the lower left, you see the lead acid battery. And in the bottom middle, you see the maximum power point tracker. That makes sure that the modules are operating at the optimum voltage. Please visit the link that you find in the description of this video because on our website you can find a complete shopping list of all the stuff that we use to build this battery charger and also you'll find a description of how to size the array. So far for the introduction, let's get to work. We're in Garrett's lab right now, we have a 2x4. It's not a 2 by 4 It's a 4 by 8 4 by 8 And this will be big enough to put our three panels on. And we're going to use this area for, some, uh, for the computer and everything and the batteries so that we have a nice setup. I'm going to be recording a couple videos to show the progress, how we're going to put this up, putting the panels on. Part two of setting up the the small array. Garrett, my buddy, okay. he will he will show us what the connectors are like. So these panels come with a standard MC4 connector, and we need to add the actual connector to our 10 gauge wire. Simply cut the wires like that. About what is that? An inch? Yeah, a inch little over an inch. inch. Careful for the fingers. Don't cut yourself in your back, as my dad always says. Okay. Put those two things in already. So these are different for the male and the female. This is for the male uh, MC4. Okay, you put it in like this. And the female. <laughs> we are, we're having difficulties. And, and it goes in like that. So again. So one of those goes into the MC4, the female, and one of them goes into the male MC4. Just clamp it down like that. Okay. Alright. And this is the male. Male. You click it in. And that's a simple connector. Ta-da! Show the final result. Alright, so what do we have? We just made these two short wires. Do a little bit longer. And these for the furthest distance, but we're gonna cut them. We're going to put these little things in as well, where three of the wires come together and they are parallel coupled and they attach to the MPPT as one. The negative side of the three panels to the MPPT, which is a, a maximum power point tracker that will allow us to get the maximum efficiency out of these panels. Right. right now we put the panels on, we're making all the connectors to the maximum power point tracker. So what's happening? We have to parallel couple the panels, all the pluses are attached together, the minuses are attached, negative, and from there we go from the minus side to the MPPT and one wire from the plus side to the MPPT. So for the configuration what we did was we made drawings on the board first as you can see with pencil where we wanted to put the different components and now we found the best setup to be like this where 
the, the panels, the positive male and the negative female all come together in the negative and positive side. Alright, so after a couple of hours of work, we finished the array and the whole setup. Let me quickly go through everything that we have over here and show you the configuration. Alright, so the panels are, with our plus and minuses, are all together hooked up to these connector boxes that have little jumpers in them to make sure that three cables connect to one so that we only have to connect one cable into the maximum power point tracker. As you can see, the plus side over here is connected in the tracker to the solar plus side. Same with negative. Right. The other connections are the battery in the middle, plus minus, the load, plus minus, and you just connect the, the, the same poles, the positive poles and the negative poles. So the positive pole of the battery goes through here, through this fuse box, with the fuse still disconnected, it's a 25 amp fuse. And then that goes to the plus side of the battery. The negative, same story. To the negative side. Alright, before we start, Garrett and I are gonna check up on everything. And then we're gonna do our first test run. And that was it. In our next video, you can see us charging our laptop and playing some music through our speakers from our solar array. And if you're interested in learning more about Solar Journey USA and our plans to cross the United States with an electric car and flexible solar panels, then please visit our website.